In this video, I'm going to show you how to graph the weight change of the eggs in each of the solutions over time for the osmosis lab. This is the first of two graphs. You'll notice I've got all my data listed here in my data table. So once you've gotten all your data in, what you'll do first is you'll click on the Insert tab, and then you'll go over to Scatter, because we're going to make a scatter graph just like we've done before. We'll click on Scatter. But instead of what we've done before, we're going to choose the option that has the markers and the straight lines. So click on that option. And you'll notice now we've got a graph representing all the different eggs in the different solutions and their weight change over time. Now, we don't have any labels on our axis, our y-axis, our x-axis, or the graph as a whole. So what we need to do is set up the chart layout in order to insert those titles. So go up to the menu bar under Chart Layouts and click on Layout 1. We've used this one before. And it will give us all the options. So let's title our graph first. So click on the text and it will open the text box for us. Then just highlight that and what we can put here is percent weight change of X because that's what this graph gives us. Then we'll label the X axis. So we click on that text box and then we highlight the text there and we'll put in here um, time in minutes because that's what the x-axis represents here. The y-axis represents percent weight change. So what we'll do is we'll highlight that and we will put percent weight change here. And we can just click anywhere else and we've got our axes all set up. Now, that's what our graph will look like. What we want to do is we want to send it to its own full sheet, so it's a full page. So if we right-click somewhere in the blank space of the graph, and then we get our menu, and we go down and we left-click on Move Chart, it will give us the option to put it on a new sheet. It says Chart 4 here. Yours will probably say Chart 1. It doesn't really matter what it says there because it's going to put it in a chart for us anyway. Then click on OK, and then there you have it, your full page graph for the first part of the osmosis level.